blah 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 friendship blah <laughs> yes <laughs> okay hey guys it's me uh, April back with another hive swap friend sim video finally um, just now getting around to uh, downloading volume 13 and that is what we're going to start today um, today we're going to start with Stelsa Seziat these names are just gonna kill me um, but yeah so we're gonna go with her today um, this is the first time doing her route so we do uh, the route prediction roll the uh, eight ball that is in my mind <laughs> and um, just kind of try and predict what this route will be like and let's see I predict this route will be good I don't know we got bad routes last time so let's hope this one's good <laughs> uh, without further ado let's start oh it's raining okay so it turns out stealing a car was easily one of your better impulse decisions You've gotten accustomed enough to its weird insides by by now that its squishiness doesn't much faze you anymore. It still feels like the warm stomach of some kind of giant creature, but you actually find it kind of comforting. You can just let yourself get enveloped by the seat while the autopilot does its thing. Excuse me, sir, are you talking about Vor? <laughs> Getting ferried away through the streets of Alternia with your feet up on the dash sure beats endlessly pounding the, pra the pavement. Sometimes you even throw Sarava's stream on your phone. You even throw Sarava's stream on your phone if you really want to get the chill vibe going. You're surprised that you haven't been caught yet, dastardly carjacker that you are, but maybe you're just a better thief than you always thought. A possible career change to look into when, if, you ever get back to Earth. The downside is that it's a little difficult for you to further your goal of gathering even more friendship from inside the vehicle, so you'd park the scuttle, you'd park the scuttle buggy and, and expose yourself to the menaces of the outside world once more. You're in what looks like some sort of residential neighborhood. It isn't as nice as the Blue Blood neighborhoods you've seen, but it's still nice enough for most of the apartment complexes to have imposing locked front gates and security drones. But of course, you can't take a leisurely stroll on Alternia without something terrible happening. You aren't out here for you aren't out here for very long before it starts raining. Shit, damn, fuck. <laughs> you've ditched the umbrella Tirona had given to you given you and since it was as heavy as a goddamn club what so, blah, blah, blah. you ditched the umbrella Tirona had given to you since it was heavy as a goddamn club and now you're super regretting it running for shelter is all you can do so you make a mad dash to one of the building awnings huddling uncomfortably underneath it the rain doesn't let up you'll have to move soon the security drones are beginning to look like they are planning on taking a few shots at you for loitering. You need to make a decision, and fast. <clears throat> okay, first choice. Let's save. Because saving is always a good idea. Yes. Um... I don't know. Let's try getting into one of the buildings. We're going to try to break into someone's house. <laughs> There's no way you're getting into any of these without a passcode. But wait, you think you see someone climb, uh, coming your way. Perhaps they'll be your knight in shining armor? Oh boy. <laughs> so what you're telling me is my appointment is cancelled? You're still some distance away, but she's looking right at you. You point at yourself questioningly, thinking she might be talking to you, but then you realize she's wearing a Bluetooth headset. Jeremy used to be so on the ball remembering the time he gave me... Gave what? Gave, remembering the time he gave me a full prong? Okay. Oh, Jesus. This is hard to read. 
Okay. Jeremy used to be so on the ball remembering the time he gave me a full prong beautifying pet procedure right after the high blood ripped his arm off. Right after the high blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> but now he can't bounce back from one little thresher in the abdominal sausages that happened. What? In the abdominal sausages. What happened that boy? Oh. What happened? That boy is losing his touch. Looks like she's coming back from a jog. If that's what running shorts are anything to go by. If the running shorts are anything to go by. If she's at, at all bothered by the acid glancing off her skin, sending dozens of little firecracker sparks in their wake, she isn't showing it. She seems much more preoccupied by the harried conversation she's having on the phone. Most importantly, she's power walking to the entrance of this building, which must mean she lives here. This is your chance. You scuttle along under the awning, pressing yourself close to the side of the building, bug-like. You sort of wish she'd encountered you earlier, when you were dodging the rain like a rad action hero. Now you just look sort of cowardly and pathetic. Especially compared to her. She's just striding along like absolutely nothing is going to get in the way of whatever business she's got going on, let alone a few paltry explosions. Actually, she's so focused on her call that she didn't notice you until you were standing right next to her. Such an inconvenience you can fully expect that I will be taking my business elsewhere from now on. Oh, oh my, what do we have here? There's no punctuation and it's making me angry. <laughs> Um, she transitions from hanging up the call to taking and talking to you so quickly that it makes your head spin. Oh boy. Take this down. Strange little hornless creature parked in front of my home, very puny and scared looking. Can only be the alien everyone has been talking about so much. About such an opportunity can't go to waste, now can it? What? <laughs> You're confused again, looking around to see who she might be talking to, but there's nobody else here. Maybe she's dictating notes to her phone? Look at you. We can't have you wandering around outside in this dar like this, darling, can we? Aren't you ravishing? Do give me the name of your stylist. So good to meet you. Here's my card. The name's Stelsa Sezyat. Uh... Ah, uh, I terrorizer in training for the Alternian Empire. Nice to meet you. Let's walk and talk. You didn't realize that borrowed hoodie was that... What? You didn't realize that borrowed hoodie was that impressive of a look. But, okay. She produces a business card with one hand and puts some numbers into a panel with the other. You take the card. It's a struggle to the... To, it's a struggle to process what she's saying respond to her questions and introduce yourself, all while experiencing the verbal equivalent of getting hit by a truck. <laughs> How is it possible to talk so fast without taking a breath? You can barely get a word get a word in edgewise. Stelsa continues chattering away as she steps inside and waves for you to follow her into the apartment building's elevator. You do. Boop, 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 boop. Transition time. So tell me, do you run any business on your planet? If I, if you do, I would be more than happy to offer my services. They are very efficient and affordable, I can assure you. All you, all your legal and financial documents will be checked over in no time. I'll make sure everything is running at tip-top shape. I'm so happy to have run into you. Ever since Zizi told me about you, she's been, she what? Uh, told me she met you, I've been asking her to introduce introduce me. It's so very important for a professional to continue growing her network, especially intergalactically. Don't you agree? She's still busying herself with her phone while talking to you, texting on its tiny keyboard. The name ZZ doesn't ring any bells. You flip through, you flip through the roll decks in your brain, trying to remember. Have you really made any, so many friends that you're beginning to forget their names? You're a little impressed with yourself. It feels like only yesterday that you were crawling around in the basement with in the basement of a murderess and getting stabbed in the shin with a screwdriver. <laughs> Just a single friend to your name. Good times. You've come so far since then. 
It brings a single sentimental tear to your eye. Wait, Celsa's name is finally start. Oh, Tizius. Celsa's own name finally starts to register. You've heard it before. This is Tizius' mate sprit. <gasps> yes! So she must be talking about Tizius. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I love her. Mm -hmm. Murderess is stabbing very fascinating stuff, I'm sure. Yes, I am referring to my darling Tizius, of course. You're at the door of her hive. You're at the door of her to her hive. She unlocks it, letting you both in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> come in, come in. Welcome to Chesayat. Chesayat. Welcome to Chesayat. Make yourself at home. I can get you anything. Can I get you any water, grub cake, my rates sheet? I would love to continue our chat while I'm a little less sweaty and also acid reeks. A absolute havoc on the skin. You know how it is. I'll just jump into the abolition trap for a minute. Please exp excuse me. I won't be long. Back in two shakes of a quick quack beast gastric ejac evacuation pillow. What? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Actually, you wouldn't know how it is, considering that a bucket load of acid falling on you would leave you either very injured or very dead. And she's already gone. You're a little relieved. It's not that Stelsa isn't friendly. She's plenty friendly. She just approaches friendship in a way that makes you feel a little like a line to, her, like a line on her to-do list that she's in a hurry to check off. Or, well, she seems like she wants you as some sort of work contact, not a friend. But that's okay. You've worn many hats in the pursuit of friendship: clown cultist, impromptu shoosh papper, murder accomplice business associate is one of the tamer business associate is one of the tamer ones on the list now that you no longer have to keep up with her mile a minute conversation you can take a proper look around her hive you're not sure what's more perturbing the sheer amount of pink that's accosting your eyeballs or the fact that everything is so painstakingly organized that it's making you a little uncomfortable it's like you it's like you merely standing here is disrupting a careful order of the room. Her shelves are crammed full of books, all neatly arranged according to topic, with each topic displayed on a little label on each shelf. She also, she also has a lot of posters featuring motivational slogans beneath, underneath striking nature photography. <laughs> The only normal looking spot in the hive is a coffee table with a mishmash of personal belongings piled on top of it. Books, papers, a jacket, and you think what might be a mug? None of these items strike you as being particularly Stelsa's style. The overall effect what? The overall effect is that of a very pink, very neat office cubicle. You almost feel like you should be you should start chugging mediocre coffee and complaining about how much you hate Mondays. So sorry to have kept you waiting. Stelsa reemerges, her hair wrapped in a towel. Well, it's been a blast getting to know you. We should get lunch sometime and keep the conversation going. I'll pencil you in, darling. But for now I have a bit of a dilemma to deal with. That sounds like a worrying that sounds worryingly like a dismissal. You sneak a glance at the schedule on her bulletin board. It's a blaze of color, with barely any free slots. You don't want to be penciled in. You've no idea when she might be available next, and you need her sweet, sweet friendship now. Maybe whatever problem she has is something you could help with? Hmm, unless you're ludicrously talented, a ludicrously talented beautician, I think not. My usual face bumped place bumped me off their list, and right before a very important meeting, too. A girl has to look her best for these things, really knock their socks off. To really knock their socks off, if I want to make arrangements with another salon, I shall have to move fast. No time to waste. Mm. Oh boy. Alright, let's save again. <laughs> another spot right here. Oh, my face is itchy. Okay, let's, uh... <sighs> oh, 
Um, fuck. None of these sound very good to me. <laughs> um, let's go with the last one. Who needs a beautician when you're around? You have absolutely no professional beauty experience, but Sarava did give you that crash course in crafting great looks. Still says probably after a vibe that's a little less moisture wave, but you're sure you can whip something up. You tell her that you'll help her get ready instead, right here in her hive. Oh, how nice of you. I've never had to had a house call before. Let's do this. She leads you to the next room, rubbing her hair dry as she goes. Is that her... Her Cooper Coon? Or... I think that is. So she sleeps in- okay. Oh yeah, it is a Recruper Coon. I didn't even read the text box. I'm an idiot. <laughs> There's a Recruper Coon in the corner and a vanity in the other. In one corner and a vanity in the other. With an array of poufets, brushes, and other mysterious implements spread out on its surface. Some of them are disturbingly pointy. Oh well, you're sure you'll be able to figure out what they're all for once you start using f using them. Stelsa takes a seat in the chair in front of the vanity, holding her hands primly, primly on her lap. So, darling, what do you think what... So, darling, you think... What What do you think... Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so hard. I'm sorry. So, darling, what do you think? What should we do first? It's all up to you. Not this again. Why are you always making the decisions around here? What wouldn't you give to be another to be able to foist your own life choices off random people you just met? It would be re so refreshing. Oh god. Um we're going to have to save again. <laughs> too many too many choices, my guys. Um let's polish her horns first because they're not shiny enough apparently. Polish horns. You pick up a velvety piece of cloth, bringing it, oh no, up to Stelsa's head. There's only one thing this can be for. Oh no, 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 no. That was bad. That was wrong. That was wrong. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing with that? Polish her horns. What? Polish her horns to be an impressive, uh, impressive se sheen, of course. They'll be positively gleaming by the time you're done with them. Ugh. She grabs your wrist with one hand before she before you can do so. She is deceptively strong, holding you in such an ironclad grip that you can't move your arm at all. You've been low-key admiring her toned arms earlier, but now you know for sure that the rack of hot pink dumbbells in the living room aren't just for show. Instead of looking pleased with what you propose to do, she looks uneasy. Possibly even a little embarrassed? Polish my... Um... Hmm. You barely get a glimpse before her discomfited expression... Of her discomfited expression before she's gracing you with another friendly smile. Albeit a bit of a strange, uh, strained one. You know, I think I'm having second thoughts. Uh, it's reasonable to expect that an alien like you wouldn't know the first thing about troll grooming habits. My mistake, I should have accounted for such cultural dis differences. But it's quite a right, I shall figure something else out. Is it just you, or is there- or was there a pointed pause between- before cultural differences? She's getting up again. Wait, what's happening? You thought the two of you were going to bond over a sweet makeover session. But she's pushing you back to the main area of her hive pretty forcefully, too. Thank you for offering your help, dear. So very kind of you, but I'll manage. Great to meet you. Just wonderful. Call me, take call me, take care. Have a nice day. Have a nice life. Toodles. Bye. <laughs> she shoots you another lovely, yet clearly fake smile and shoves you out the door. You'll be able to wait out in the rain just fine in this hallway, but being sprawled on your ass on Stelz's welcome mat by all by your lonesome just isn't the same as hanging out with a new friend. A oh, rip. <laughs> yeah, that's because troll hordes are weird. 
Uh, I should have known. I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> Alright, um, let's try and go for the quick bad ending. Okay, and we're back with the quick bad ending. Um, so this time we are going to run back to the scuttle buggy and see what that does. <sighs> Um, it's parked a ways away down the street, but if you run fast enough, you might be able to make it. You abandon the security of the metal awning, launching yourself back into the minor apocalypse that is rec regular Alternian weather. You should have been able to guess how this was going to go. The raindrops are too dense for you to successfully dodge them all, and your delicate human body isn't built to withstand nuclear-ass rain. You probably would have had better luck with the security drones. Fuck. Well, that didn't work. No, no it didn't. <laughs> Alright. Well. Cool. <laughs> so we just covered both the bad ends. Unless there's more than one bad end. Which there probably is. Um... I think I am going to end this video here just because I don't want it to go over 30 minutes and I know it will if we go back and do the good route. Um, but yeah, so uh, those were the two bad ends for Stelsa. Unfortunately, I, I was hoping we'd get good ends, but I guess not. <laughs> That is a nice drawing of a skeleton, though. Oh, yeah, also, it's spooky time, my boys. Happy October. <laughs> I just remembered that. Um, but yeah, feel free to uh, send me memes, Halloween memes, on my Discord. Uh, <laughs> which will also have a link in the description, by the way. Go ahead and join. It's a cool server. Um, anyways, uh, that was it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you would like to experience the game for yourself, there is also a link in the description to where you can go play it or buy it on Steam. It is only 99 cents per DLC, which is honestly pretty good. Um, and, uh... If you don't want to buy it, I mean, you can always just watch my playlist I have on it, where I have uh, completely covered every route up until this point. Um, that will also be linked in my end card, so if you can just hang around to the very, very end and click the playlist, um, that'll lead you right there, back to my very first friend sim videos back in fucking I don't know May I don't know they're they're really bad <laughs> that's all I know <laughs> so be warned like the first couple episodes that I did um just really really bad audio quality and yeah <laughs> so thank you again for watching and I will see you all next time Bye! <laughs>